What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. Good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating a drink. Look like a damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, please no. What up, what up, what up, what up, what's good, people? What is up? What's up? What's up, people? What's up? It's me, L Teddy 27 and I am back here for yet another review. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be my review. I feel like y'all are too close to me. Oh, before I tell y'all what this is a review for, I should probably tell you this is a new show alert, new show alert, new show alert. Got a new show for you. This is going to be the Netflix series Clickbait, and this is season one, episode one. It is entitled The Sister. Now, I came across this show. I was recommended to this show by one of you all, my wonderful subscribers. And um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, whether or not y'all want me to continue to review it. I'm going to continue to watch it. I have watched episode one. I have not watched episode two yet, but I came on right after I watched episode one. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. Great um, plot and premise behind this show. So it's about this guy whose name is Nick. Nick is a uh, physical therapist down to one of the universities in Oakland. Um, I think this is called Oakland, California. At any rate, um, he gets kidnapped or abducted or something, and he's being held hostage. And they make this video, um, this um, hostage or this video um, where he's on there. He has these placards or poster boards or whatnot that he's written stuff on there. And... Um, and we'll get there. So, but anyway, the the whole premise behind the show is if the video gets to 5 million clicks, he dies. And so they're on a hunt to try to find this young man, Nick, before he dies. So this episode is following his sister, whose name is Pia, P-I-A. Pia is a, um, you know, white girl. She's blonde. Um, not a real blonde, but she, you know, her hair is blonde. She got a little bob or whatever with the bang. Um... Nick is also married to a black woman. Nick is white. He's married to a black woman. He has two sons. One's name is Ethan and the other's name is Kai. Um, cute little black boys or whatnot. Um, nice, um, good, wholesome family. I think the wife, whose name is Sophie, I think that's the same chick from Get Out. The the one who played the nurse, not the nurse, the maid in Get Out. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the chick who plays the wife, her name is Sophie. I think that's the same actress that played um, on the movie Get Out, and she was the maid or whatnot in Get Out, the, um, the black lady who, we, remember, we saw her on Get Out when she took the wig off or whatever, that, her. Anyway, who housed the brain of, I guess, the grandmother or whatever. Anyway, um, we start off, there's a small birthday party for Nick's mom, Nick and Pia's mom, and they're having a small um, little birthday um, party for her, and so the kids, Ethan and Kai, give their gifts. Um, and then there's this big joint gift that that's supposed to be given by all of them um, that Sophie picked out. And Pia is picking on the fact that Sophie picked it out and she knows she's not going to like it. Anyway, it was a um, planter. And Sophie was like, I thought we were going to get her a bread maker or whatnot. And she's all upset and going in all on Sophie. And Nick gets upset and, and uh, they have a whole argument. And Nick kicks it. Nick, kicks her out, okay, because Sophie, um, Pia was going in on Sophie, and Nick is not here for you to be going in on his wife, so he kicks his sister Pia out, and, um, they go, um, and she leaves, and she goes on a whole reckless bender, I mean, you see her go to the club, she getting drunk as a skunk, she popping pills, she on, um, dating apps, looking to get busted down, she's going, she goes home, she drops her phone in the toilet, it stops working, she goes home, starts, you know, rubbing one out and masturbating and fingering herself and all loud and stuff. Just a whole reckless night bender, okay? You name it, she did it that night. But pay attention to the fact that at uh, one point during the night, she dropped her phone in the toilet and her phone stopped working. So when she got home, she put it in a little bowl of rice or whatnot, or whatnot to try and dry it out. I don't know about y'all, but nobody, including myself, that I know that has ever done that whole put the phone in the rice, in a bowl of rice, ever said it worked. Like nobody, everybody always says, yeah, I had to end up going to get a new phone because I've never met anybody that it's worked for. Maybe it worked for y'all. I don't know. Maybe we're doing it wrong. I don't know. Anyway, um, the next morning, Pia goes to work and she's a nurse. We find out she's a nurse. And one of her regular patients, his name is Vince. It's a little guy who's in high school. Um, and I, I don't know if, if we ever found out like what department in the hospital um, she works in. Um, she's a nurse for. But anyway, um, 
she's you know helping one of her regular patients. His name is Vincent. He's watching and um, he's on his computer. He's kind of a computer geek or whatnot, and so he's watching. It's not YouTube, but it's supposed to be YouTube because I guess for licensing and you know copyright purposes they couldn't say YouTube, but it's for all intents and purposes YouTube. And there's this big YouTuber. She comes on. She said, "Oh, I just got this video and it's disturbing and it's creepy as um as fuck." And um and the video comes on and it's the video of Nick who looks beaten and bruised and battered and he's holding the placard up and says, um, "I abuse women on the placard." And says, "At five million views, I die." And, um, um, and, um, so, and he's confessing to abusing and murdering women and stuff like that on the placards. And uh, anyway, but when the hit video hits 5 million, the guy is going to die. And that's what the video says. And so, um, at that point, the video, you see a little ticker. The video is only at 3,000 views between three and 4,000. And, um, but Pia immediately, immediately realizes it's her brother. Um, and she's trying to figure out what's going on. So she goes to the, uh, cause remember she doesn't have her phone. It's in the rice drying out. So she goes to her work phone and tries to call her brother straight to voicemail. Um, and so forth. She tries to call, um, Sophie, the wife, um, she calls the school and the school was like, well, she's teaching and you don't have to call her later. And you know how schools can be. If you try to call them, if you ain't never tried to call a teacher while they're in class, if they don't answer their personal cell phone, you try to call a school for them. They're not going to let you get over. Anyway, um, so she couldn't get uh, the wife. So she goes to Nick's job at the university. Nobody's seen him that morning. Ain't nobody seen or heard from him. She goes to the um, school with the wife and works and busts through security, which is some old lady. I don't know why y'all got these old ladies working front door security, but I guess. So she goes there. She just busted that girl. I don't care. Call the police. Call whoever you want. Girl, I'm going up in there. She goes up to the girl's class, to Sophie's classroom, who's teaching, looks like 11th and 12th grade English. And, um, Sophie comes out and she shows Sophie the video. And Sophie is, um, you know, taken aback, but, and she really can't believe it's Nick. And um, she says, is this some kind of joke or whatever? And that's the thing. Everybody at first thinks it's some kind of joke or hoax or something to that effect. Um, so then I guess she leaves. And the sister, Pia um, and Sophie, they drive. They go to the police station. And at that moment, uh, Pia is like, goes back to the video and says, I, it jumped a thousand views in 20 minutes. And so Sophie's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't be watching that because you're not helping with the viewer count, ma'am, ma'am. Anyway, they go down to the police station and the detectives are being what police are, dicks. They're just being dicks. They are horrible. They're awful. They're not helpful. They're not helping anything. They, it's just a mess, just a damn mess. Anyway, um, I will say this, and I noted this from the beginning. The wife was way too calm. Like, her level of calm, peace, serenity, unbotheredness was at the same level that it was during the movie Get Out. If y'all remember her on Get Out, if this is, in fact, the same chick, she was real calm and real way too calm when it was not time to be calm. Okay, that's how she was. And your old husband is over here possibly on the verge of dying, being kidnapped and abducted. And you over here just as calm as all Get Out. Anyway, so she and brother detective just as calm. The sister is unraveling. Pia is unraveling, okay? As I probably would be as well. Anyway, um, Pia gets uh, a call from her son, her oldest, not Pia, um, Sophie gets a call from the oldest son of her and Nick. And so she goes home. She said, I got to go see about my my, uh, my kids. So she goes home and her, her two sons are there. Um, the oldest son's name is Ethan, who's quite striking, cute little boy. And then the younger son's name is Kai. Um, and at that point, um, the video is already at 300,000 views, okay? This is within, you know, maybe an hour or two. Remember, I told you it was at three, between three and 4,000. So then, um, the older son is, like, on um, the computer trying to use one of the apps or whatever to locate the dad's phone, and he can't do it or whatnot. And so, at this point, it's settling in, and they're, you know, the, the kids at this point are starting to get unnerved. So the sister leaves. Um, Nick and Sophie's out, and she goes home. She takes her phone out of the bowl of rice, and the bowl of rice, um, I guess, worked for her. I don't know how, but it didn't work for none of us. But she takes her phone out of the bowl of rice. It works. And she got a voicemail from, she when she turned the phone on, she notices a voicemail from her brother at 1.25 a.m. And the voicemail says something, to, I don't have it verbatim, but it says something to the effect of, hey, I'm sorry for what happened, um, and that there's stuff going on that they need to talk about, that they should talk about, and for her to call him back. 
Immediately in my brain, I said to myself, self, something going on with him and the wife. And then they later on in the episode, you see um, there she has a, Peter has a flashback with her and Nick are walking and she had mentioned to him that he had been the same for the last few months. He had been different for the last couple months and she had been trying to, you know, say, is it your work? Is it home? And it kind of like narrowed down that it was at home and stuff was going on between him and Soapy. That message that he left her led me to the belief because the whole reason he kicked her out was because of what she was saying about the wife or whatnot. So it led me to believe that something was going on at the house with him and the wife. I know that. It unnerved me too. The wife was just this calm. Just way too calm for me. But we'll see as, you know, the series goes on. So um, Pia then goes over her mom's house. She asks her mom if she's heard from Nick. And the mom said, no, I ain't heard from him. Is anything wrong? She said, no, everything's fine. And so the mom goes off on her about her antics from the night before and, um, and everything. And so the mom asks her again, you know, is everything okay? Because um, she don't ask her mom, hey, why you keep asking me where Nick is? Is everything okay? Because the mom don't have no clue. Don't have a clue what's going on. And so she said, yes, everything's fine. She gets a, a text from Sophie that says, um, call me ASAP. So she leaves and she says, I got to go. She calls Sophie. Sophie says, police say I need to meet them down there to the detective's office again for a, a second interview. And so um, Pia meets her down there. Apparently, there's a second um, second video. And on his next video, um, Nick holds up a little placard this time that says, I killed a woman. So this time is not in his handwriting. The the other one, the first one, they said, yeah, that's his handwriting. The, the second one, they said, yeah, that's not his handwriting. I, and so at this point, they're looking at the video. And the detectives are saying, uh, Pia is going off. Sophie is still way too fucking calm for me. Pia is losing it and, you know, going off for the old new. Now, I said one of two things. If either one of them are involved, they are playing their roles. Pia is playing the role of, I'm going to act this out and lose my mind and act like I'm the crazy, you know, sister that's so concerned about my brother. Or you could be the complete opposite. You're the doting wife and you're trying to, you know, um, carry yourself respectably and all of this. I don't be real, you know, serene and calm. And they were on polar opposites of the spectrum, okay? So PA is going on, asking them, why haven't y'all shut down this website? Why are people still able to view it? It's getting close, uh, higher and higher views. They said that the website is owned by a company over in Macedonia. So it's not a whole lot they can do to try and get it shut down. However, they have been in contact with the Justice Department and the FBI. In the they, so they they leave. They Pia and Sophie just leave. In the parking lot, um, Sophie gets a call from a journalist and who wants to interview her. And she just hangs up on the journalist. And Pia um ends up playing the voicemail that she got from her brother Nick the night before. And Sophie and she said, Should I get it to the detective? And Sophie was like, nah, they're gonna, you know, think that he is doing what he wrote on the little placards. And so um Pia tells Sophie, hey, it's um the video is already at a million and a half views. And so another thing I forgot to mention was the fact that um people had started commenting under the video calling Nick all kinds of horrible names because the people in the comment section are believing what he wrote on the placards and so forth. And so Pia goes to her job. Everybody at the job watching the video or watching a news story about the video. So the video is really going viral at this point. Um so she talks to the little patient guy who I told you about, Vince, that originally showed her the, vi the video initially. And she was like, aren't you like a computer, you know, person? And can't you hack into Google and get their meta metadata and try to find out? He was like, she, we be like, listen, I'm in high school. That's way beyond my level of expertise. But what I did do is I made this sub port. Now, I'm not familiar with what a sub port is. It's the first time I haven't even heard the term. But he said he had created this sub port and, and there was, you know, I guess it's kind of like um, something like Discord, if you're familiar with Discord, with you know, there's forums or whatever they can discuss, whatever. But the people, there are people in there, and they are um, just trying to figure out where Nick is and see if they can help find Nick and, you know, um, deciphering and breaking down the videos and trying to find clues that will help them figure out where Nick is. Peter thanks them or whatever and says, please do anything you can. Please, 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 please. He says, I got you. Pia goes back to Nick's house. And her nephew, Kai, the younger one, is concerned. He says, I want to go try and find my dad. But mom says, now is not the right time. And she was like, yeah, nah. Don't worry about it. Your dad going to come home. Because he knows I'll be real mad if he don't. Anyway, so she's trying to help cheer up her nephew, Pia is. Um, Pia's mom is there. 
And and Pia's mom now knows and goes off on Pia like, girl, I can't believe you ain't tell me that my goddamn child was goddamn missing and possibly kidnapped and abducted. Girl, you done lost your child. I wasn't mad at the mom. She should have went off on Pia. So um, the the older son, Ethan, is also having a difficult time. He's a gamer. He got like, you know, the dual, you know, monitor system set up and everything. And, you know, every, he's having a rough go at it with it as well. But he's trying to do what he can to keep himself calm and I guess the video games is his outlet um but I also noted that while he was playing video games he was getting messages from I guess some of the fellow gamers that were asking him about the status or updates on what was going on with his dad so then um Pia um goes home her roommate is there watching his news uh, broadcast about it or whatnot and now the video is over 3 million views is that with 3 million views at this point? And so she gets a buzz from downstairs. It's her patient. Now, the patient boy done found her address and where she lived. She didn't tell him where she lived. But he done got um, her address and he's downstairs. So he comes upstairs and he shows her that the people in the little subport have been doing their job. They got detectives and people that are retired detectives and people who know all kinds. Anyway, long story short, they don't put clues and they don't put connected dots and did all of this stuff and found out that. The video is being shot from inside of a van. Inside of a van down by the river. If y'all don't know where that comes from, we can't be friends. If I say in a van down by the river and you don't know what I'm talking about, we can't be friends. Anyway, that's where the video is being shot. In a van down by the river. And uh, and so um and she's grateful and thankful and, you know, they don't even figure out what company it is that uses those specific make and model of bands. And so the little boy tries to kiss her and she's like, what are you doing? And at the same moment, conveniently, her boyfriend rolls up in there because her roommate conveniently let the boyfriend in. Child, it was just way too convenient. Anyway, the little high school boy go and leave and the boyfriend takes her down to the police station. They show the police everything that they found or whatever. And so the police are using that and they see that the police are over here, you know, um, monitoring and watching surveillance footage from weeks and weeks back trying to see patterns in Nick and how he rides to his job and you know who may be following him and this that and the third so they can get down to the uh, bottom of things and so um Pia says we can watch we can help Pia her boyfriend says hey we can do this we can help watch the other detective like that's not how this works you are not a detective you're not a policeman you need to go home and he was like and the other policeman was like listen y'all want y'all can wait in the waiting room wait outside but we got work to do. And so Pia goes out there with her boyfriend. And then something switches. So she goes to see the video, which is now over 4 million views. And she starts watching the video and, and, and refreshing the page and watching it over and over and over. As if she's trying to help it get to 5 million views. Now, I didn't know. It could be seen both ways. It could be seen that she was trying to help it get to 5 million views. Or she was trying to refresh it to see how it got to 5 million views. Either way... Um, she started having memories and flashbacks of arguments and fights that her and Nick had had. And so that's why I was thinking that maybe she was just trying to get it to 5 million views to see if he really would die. Next, it gets to 5 million views. She tells the boyfriend, next thing you know, the detectives come out and say, hey, we got to leave based off what y'all told me. They found some van. So they all go, you know, caravanning down to the van or whatnot. They get to the van and they open the van up and before we can see what's in there, it goes off. And that was episode one. Now, I see that episode two is titled The Detective. So, I need to see what the detective got going on. So, I'm going to go back and watch. If y'all want me to continue to review this show, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Y'all go watch episode one. Let me know how y'all feel. I'm going to watch it regardless. Whether or not y'all want me to review it, I'll let y'all uh, decide. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. From y'all, y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this um, show thus far. Y'all go watch it. Come back. Leave me a comment. Until then, until next time, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safe for y'all now.